Mazbowski here and welcome back to Wonder Trade Addictions, a series in which I hit up the Wonder Trade system in Pokemon X and Y in search of some sweet AS Pokemon. And today, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely no different. So hold on to your butts, because we're gonna dive straight into this bitch real quickly. And hopefully. Hopefully get us some rare Pokebank Mons, yo! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Pokebank is out in Japan. Well, so, there we go, it's out in Japan, and hopefully, hopefully we'll be getting a release soon. But in the previous episode, I asked you what Pokemon we should trade out next, and the response was Darumaka and Tynamo. So, here we go, we're going to be sending out Hellboy, a male Darumaka with the adamant nature, and four perfect IVs, which is great breeding point for somebody else. Look at that attack, though! Look at that motherfucking attack! Seven is absolutely monstrous. So let's send out Hellboy, the happy-go-lucky motherfucking eyebrow to Darumaka. Look at it jumping from side to side, yo, it is so damn good and when it evolves into Darmanitan oh that attack what is it base 140 hello I will take that all day long it's an absolute fucking monster fire is probably my least liked uh, element but um, I like Darumaka Fucking hell, I need to use me one of those motherfuckers. Look at it go. Jumping from side to side, and I've heard Zen mode ability is monstrous. So there we go. I'm going to send out Datarumaka and uh, Tynamo in today's episode. But yes, as I said, Pokebank is out in Japan again. It's been released for the second time. And here we go. We got somebody from Japan. We got somebody from Japan, yo. So does this mean we're going to get a Pokebank Mon? Would Could we get a Legendary? Could we get a Shiny even? That would be un-fucking-leavable. But here we go. We're going to have a look. Goodbye, Datarumaka, you happy-go-lucky motherfucker. We're going to end up getting a Weedle, aren't we? Oh, Snover. Okay, okay, I'll take Snover. Abominus, though, has a ridiculous, what is it, eight weaknesses? Is it six weaknesses? I don't know, but it is so damn weak. But Omega Abominus, though, hello, I like the look of that motherfucker. I might have to give it a chance, but there we go, we got Snover, which is pretty good. I will take a look at that and see where we go from there. But yes, Japan has finally got a Pokebank out, and they're, they're basically being the test dummies again uh, to see... To see if it's going to be, well, well, see if all the bugs and shit, whatever was wrong with it before, has been uh, moved out. So, the Snover is rash with snow warning. No idea what the uh, IVs are, but it's got uh, priority ice shards, so that's okay. So, we're going to send out Tynamo, um, which is the original one that I had. So, it's a, it's a German Tynamo, and because I decided to keep one of the ones I bred, that was a little bit better. So, we'll send this guy out over the Wonder Trade system and see what we get in return. Yeah, so now Japan's got it. Hopefully, hopefully the rest of the world will get it soon as well because we're all desperate for Pokebank to finally fucking come out so everyone can be like, phew, finally I can get all the fucking Pokemon from black and white. Um, I just need legendaries. It's the legendary Pokemon that I need. I have already cleared up um, the, the decks as in I have got every single normal Pokemon, if you know what I mean. Another Japan trade! Look at that girl! Look at that girl! She's got a pretty flower in her hat. If you give me something good, oh, I will come over to Japan and kiss you right square. Square on the fucking mouth. Square on the motherfucking mouth, yo. Take my Tynamo. Take it right in your face. And hopefully give me something good. <gasps> okay, okay. NK, I'll take NK. Um, I had a Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with one of the subs the other day, which was pretty good. So I'm starting to do that now. And uh, they had the, the evolution. Fuck, I can't remember what the evolution is now, but it kept putting me to motherfucking sleep. Hypnosis, yo. Kept putting me to sleep, which was a bit of a trouble, but it was a very good battle. Very good battle. Um, and, uh, yeah, it just gave me a hell of a problem. And so did, oh, what was it? Was it a Blissey? I think, I think the, the guy had a Blissey as well that gave me a bit of uh, trouble because it's so fucking bulky in special defense. It is a Jolly NK with contrary ability and perfect IV in speed. So thank you very much, girl. I won't be coming to Japan to kiss you, but uh, I will, uh, I'll, I'll thank you. I'll thank you nicely. So here we go. We've got Eyebrows, the uh, female Darumaka, the only female that I managed to breed. Uh, with Adamant and uh, four perfect IVs. It's good breeding point uh, for somebody else. Uh, so yes, um, I've complete. Well, I've got every single starter ever. Well, I see. You know what I mean. First ever, not even first evolution. The base Pokemon of every single uh, non-rare one, if you know what I mean. No legendaries or event Pokemon. Um, I've got every single one of them. So I just need to start filling out the decks. That is probably my next thing. What's up, Seth from United States, Indiana? 
And uh, what have you got for me? I'm going to send you a Darumaka. I hope you're pleased, motherfucker. I hope you're pleased. Um, yes, so I need to go through completing the decks because I would like to get the shiny charm because that will increase the rate that we get shinies. Sp oh, yeah, Poliwag. Yo, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the Poliwag. That is my signature Pokemon. Well, Poliwhirl is. But I will take the Poliwag. Thank you very much, Seth. That's a f is that the first Poliwag we've had? trade it over um if it is then thank you very much i really appreciate it i just love i love polywags and animation in this game just so cute moving from motherfucking sad to side like oh it's just so damn pleased to to, to be it's so damn pleased to be life it's it's so good and oh fucking polytoad man absolute fucking monster so we've got timid with a damp ability um, ah, it's okay, it's okay. Probably get traded out at some point, but the the polywag, there we go. Thank you very much. So we're going to send out Booty Shaker, the female adamant dynamo. So there you go. Send you off into the Wonder Trade world. So yes, speaking of shinies, thank you very much for answering the question in the previous Wonder Trade Addictions episode where I asked you what shiny Pokemon you've had. Um, you guys came out in fucking droves to comment, which I really, really appreciate. I'll get around to answering as many of you guys as I can, just saying pretty cool or whatever. But I just want to say a sweeping statement. Thank you very much for responding. You guys have some awesome, awesome shinies out there. And it seems the most popular way of getting shinies in this game is actually chain fishing which is really really good oh we got another japan trade yo this is the fucking perfect time for japanese trades so motherfucker are you gonna give me one hell of a sweet pokey banked mon what are we gonna get what are we gonna get we still don't have a legendary and we still not had a shiny yet what are we gonna get what are we gonna get we're gonna get a gibble okay a gibble that is nice i like gibble i finally i uh, got myself a mega garchomp um, I've been breeding up one of those motherfuckers for a team for fighting all you guys Wi-Fi style. So uh, I may have one of those when I battle you. So we'll take the gibble and we'll see what IVs and shit it has. And um, we're getting some pretty damn decent trades today, yo. We're getting some pretty damn decent trades. Um, but yeah, all the shinies in the previous episode. Thank you very much. The ch chain fishing. Seems to be the most popular way of getting uh, shinies, which is good. So we've got Brave Sandvale. So Brave, uh, that heightens attack and lowers speed, I think. Um, that might be that might actually be really good for a what do you call it team a uh, trick room team because uh, I think Mega Garchomp loses a hell of a lot of speed compared to Garchomp so a brave ability with Sand Veil would uh, might actually be quite good for a trick room team but anyway moving on we're going to send it the last Darumaka which is called Inferno with four perfect IVs adamant hustle motherfucker so we're going to send you out Inferno get out there look at it dancing from side to side that's one of the best animations on the the new generation of pokemon i love it i fucking love it darumaka what a guy so yes uh, one thing i was gonna be uh, talking about today apart from filling up my decks i'm so close to doing it i just need all the fucking i just need the pokebank to be out when do you think the pokebank will be out oh we got another japanese trade <gasps> look at that hair yo that blonde hair is illuminating the screen in this dark ass room thank you very much girl you are so damn radiant what are you gonna give me what are you gonna give me what are you gonna... i'm just so fucking excited now pokebank is out it is just like fucking what are we gonna get we're gonna get a motherfucking ninkada Damn, that's a letdown. But hey, if it's an adamant one or a jolly one, I'll take it for Shedinja. Shedinja with its was it Wonder Guard ability. It's it's pretty it's pretty good. I'll you know what you know what girl. I'll forgive you. Shedinja is a bit of a monster. Um, listen to this final guy. Uh, yes, I'm. So, I just need all the legendaries. I just need the legendaries to fill up my Pokedex and start um, training. Uh, leveling up Pokemon so I can get all the evolutions we uh, I need. So we've got a Jolly. Ah, oh, Jolly, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Look at that defense. It looks like it might have been IV bred, you know. That seven defense there, the six speed compound eyes. It might have been bred, that German Ninkada. So she's obviously got it over the Wonder Trade system and thought, fuck it, fucking Ninkada, I'll trade that back out. So here we go, the last one, little T, the quirky levitated Tynamo. Let's send you out, motherfucker. Let's send you out. Please, can we get something good? Please, can we end the episode on something good? Because um, the last couple of episodes, the sixth and final trade has been a bit ass. So I've gone on and done the seventh one. But we'll see. We will see. But we are nearing 2K subs, everybody. We're nearing 2K subs. I can't believe it. In the last month, the channel has doubled in subscriptions and views. You guys are fucking insane. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. And we've got a Japanese trade. Oh, shit. So that's, what's that, five? 
out of the fucking six we've done. I've been Japanese trades. This is the fucking perfect time to be recording. So this is the time I'm going to be doing it every day. But thank you very much for the 2K. Well, we're not got 2K subs yet, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there at the rate we're going. We've got an Esper. Oh, creepy motherfucking Esper, yo. Um, But yeah, the channel has fucking exploded. It's unreal over the last month. I have doubled the subs that I, it took me, what, four months to get. So thank you very much. It really, really is humbling that you guys are enjoying the content, you're enjoying the videos and all that shit. We're going to send out somebody else because I don't want to finish on an Esper. I've got, I've got more things to talk about, yo. I've got more things to talk about. So we're going to get one more bonus wonder trade as a thank you. As a thank you to everybody that has been subscribing to the channel. So let's just see what the Esper is like. Level 33. Um, those eyes are freaking me out. So we're going to send Esper back out because I haven't bred any extras today, which is completely my fault. I should have bred some extras. But there we go. Send out the Espers, but yes, thank you so much for what what we're sitting on currently. And um, before this episode goes out, I'm recording it on the Thursday. Bonjour, Marion. Oh, France, the language of love. Bonjour, moi, 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 moi. Yes, uh, <laughs> then we're, I'm recording this on Thursday uh, to go out on Saturday, and we're currently sitting on uh, 1.7k subs. My champ, motherfucker, look at that guy go. Sitting on 1.7k subs, so... Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. But the the question of the day I want um, to ask you is now the Pokebank is getting ever so close to coming back out. What Pokemon are you especially looking forward to bringing back over? Um, I, I am looking forward to bringing over all my legendaries so I can finally finish up my, uh, my Pokedex and hopefully get that shiny charm. Um, along with all the breeding that I've got. So what, what Pokemon do you want to bring over? I know a couple of people, uh, I've mentioned it in a video before, um, that people have said they're Snivy or that they want to bring over, but now you've got all the, the option of bringing Legendaries and that over coming up soon. So let me know in the comments below what you are most looking forward to bringing over from the Pokebank whenever we may fucking get it. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to bringing over one of my Mewtwo's that I've got in a previous game. And, oh, I've got a Kyogre. I've got a fucking perfect IV Kyogre with Drizzle and all that shit. It's motherfucking shiny too. So that is one of my favorite legendaries that I want to bring over. But there we go, guys. Let's quickly go back into the Wonder Trade um, because you need to uh, have a look at what we want to breed up next. You guys have been fucking amazing at uh, looking over the Pokemon that we've got here and deciding what needs to be bred up next. Uh, most of you are uh, responding, which is fucking brilliant. So here we go. Pokebank the Mons. So we've got a Cherubee, Cast Form, Mistrevious, Bunnery, uh, Stantler, Cricketop, Unknown, Slackoff, Meowth, Glamiow, Finneon, Boltoy, Coughing, Elgin, Buffalon. And we've already got slack off there, so have a quick look at those guys there. Uh, pause the video now. And welcome back. Um, and we'll have a look at these guys here. These are basically all the starters there. So you've got the likes of fucking Mudkip. We've got Porygon there. We've already done Diramaka, but we've got Cottony there. So again, just have a quick look there, guys, real quick. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you would like to be seen bred up next and sent out. So thank you very much. I like the fact that everybody's commenting in the, the boxes below, trading amongst each other, swapping friend codes out. And uh, that is pretty damn awesome. Oh, we got some girls. We got some damn, damn girls uh, trading with us today. Look at the variety of hats they've got. But anyway, guys, um, yes, I'm starting to do Wi-Fi battles. So if I'm free, honestly, send me a tweet. And if I'm free, I will respond saying um, either yay or nay, um, depending on how busy I am at the time. But I am accepting Wi-Fi battles now. I've had a couple in the last couple of days that have been pretty damn good. So I've enjoyed them and I'll be doing more if I get a good battle. And I've got time, I will do some commentary over the top. But... At the moment, we're going to do two Wonder Trade Addiction vids a week, along with two of the Pokemon X Wonder Lock, which is going really, really well. And you guys are supporting the shit out of it there, too. So, there we go. Uh, and to the question of the day, remember to comment below on what Pokemon you, well, what two Pokemon you want up, bred up next. And I will see you soon, guys. Drop a like if you've enjoyed this video. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do that, because it means a fucking butt ton to me. But there we go, guys. I've been Razbowski. You've been the wonderful bastards, as always for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.